going to talk about Adult Development Theories and Models Part 2. Please watch Part 1 of my Adult Development Theories and Models from the video link above. Part 2 of Adult Development Theories and Models consists of the third section and fourth section of this topic. Third section, Integrative Models of Adult Development. Separation and connection in an educational context. Research and study by Taylor, 1999. In the study of a man named Patrick, who could not concentrate on his research and finish up the degree, Patrick had his mind always preoccupied by the promise he had made with his neighbor. Now, how can we help him? Taylor suggests Patrick should consult an adult educator who can make him engage with the world of ideas and learn from experience, examine the challenge assumptions, arrive at commitments through self-reflection, relate to others from a place of mutual enhancement rather than need. Learn the art of transformation of consciousness towards self-authorship and self-definition and to shift consciousness and achieve a new understanding of the self and our relationship to the world. Time as an integrative concept for development process, research and study by Marian in 1999. Some of the learning and development processes occur in the crucial of time. For example, learning about parenting, beginning of a career, adjusting to the death of a spouse. These are the development tasks that occur at particular times in the life cycle and give rise to the teachable moment. Narrative as an integrative concept for development processes, research and study by Rosalia 1999. The advantages of narrative as an integrative concept for development processes. 1. Learners are experts on their development. 2. Narrative immediate change. 3. The telling of the life story leads development. 4. Adults restory their lives in the process of transformative learning, for example, moves from a narrower to a more inclusive perspective. Involves recognizing the limitations of one's existing meaning system requires critical reflection on one's situations and options, culminates an action according to a changed way of being in the world. Now, the fourth section uh, of Adult Development Theories and Models, Part 2, is Spirituality, Research and Study by Tistel, 1999. Our interest in promoting adult learning is not so much to teach some work or spirituality. Quote Tistel, It is to nurture the soul that is to recognize what is already inherent in our relationships and experiences. To acknowledge its experience with the teaching and learning environment to respect its sacred message. Tistel divided the discussion of spirituality as a concept of adult development model in two parts. One, psychological perspective. For example, phase development. Phase development has six stages. First and second stages is called intuitive projective phase. Third stage is conventional phase. And the fourth stage is individual reflective phase. Phase. Fifth stage is conjunctive phase. Sixth stage is universalizing phase. Two, spirituality is in the context of culture. Culture influences spiritual development. Spirituality is about constructing knowledge through image and symbol, ways of living in the community and working for justice in the world. For example, Latins of America have developed a culturally grounded and women positive spirituality that affirms their identity. 
Spirituality theory roots in our way of giving coherence and meaning to the multiple realities of our lives, then we must also take into account the power, relations and systems of privilege and operations that inform our lives. Conclusion Today we learned, which include part one of my previous video, the typology of adult development theories has four perspectives, biological, psychological, social, cultural, and integrative perspective. Today we also learned that humans could actually control their bodily function by their thoughts. Aging theories include metabolic theory, stochastic theory, and glycation theory. In gender development theory, we need to know gender identity, the mechanisms for acquiring gender identity. We also need to know cultural influences on gender identity. Today, we learned the development of sexual identity leads to open up new possibilities of learning for adults. We learned the art of transformation of consciousness toward self-authorship and self definition and to shift consciousness and achieve new understanding of the self and our relationship to the world. In today's lesson, we also learned spirituality as a concept of adult development model. It is divided into two parts, psychological perspectives and spirituality in the context of culture. Let's conclude the whole chapter of adult development theories and models. Thank you for participating, watching and listening. Until next time.